Hello crafty friends, this is Erica, Scrapdiva29. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming on um, to give you a craft fair update. As you guys know, I was working really hard on um, making my items for my craft fair and had several videos of different ideas that I um, decided to create. I was going to be doing my first craft fair December 8th. Unfortunately, um, I have a little bit of bad news. Uh, my daughter uh, was admitted to the hospital on November 30th, and she has been there since November 30th. Um, right now, we're just praying that the doctors can help her and figure out what's going on with her. Um, I really don't want to get into too much detail, but just know that um, my daughter has been in the hospital for two weeks. That's why I have not been very active on social media and haven't been posting as many videos. This past week was the very first week that I even allowed myself to even start looking at crafty things again, trying to take my mind off of my daughter being in the hospital and in the current state that she's in. Um, you know if you're a parent that it's heartbreaking when your child is hurting and um, in pain and you can't help them, you're relying on the doctors to help 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 them and um, to get them better. So um, anyway, I just wanted to come on and share with you that little bit of information. And I wanted to show you what my table would have looked like set up. Um, as you can see, um, it's not a really big table. Um, I was only going to be in like, I believe a six by six space. Um, I decided to set up my table just upstairs in my house because I really wanted to see what it was gonna look like. Um, just just for fun because I didn't get to participate in the craft fair. But this is what my table setup would have looked like. So I did want to share at least that with you guys. Um, as you can see, I used um, different crates. Um, the snowmen are on crates. I picked those up from Joann's. Um, they sell them there. And then all the little baskets I believe I picked up from Michael's. Um, the black tier tray, I picked that up from Hobby Lobby. And then I had um, just my um, other little things in just little various baskets. And um, I think it came out pretty nice. Um, as you can see, I didn't want to overcrowd the table because I didn't uh, have a lot of space, but I had planned on um, just restocking stuff as I sold it just so that um, I could keep the, the table from too much clutter, if you will. So um, that was my plan. Um, as you can see next to each of the little baskets, I have little wooden chalk um, board signs that I had picked up from the uh, Target dollar spot. And I was going to have my daughter, you know, write um, what the item was and the price that I was selling it. But unfortunately, we, we didn't get to do it together. Um, the banner that you're looking at, that was the banner that I had picked up from Target dollar spot. And then the letters Mary, Word letters that I picked up from Tuesday morning. It was a part of a banner set from Crepe Paper. Um, the two little Christmas trees, I actually die cut that those trees out using um, some Christmas tree dies from my stash. And I just um, adhered it with Fabri-Tac glue and, and, and um, adhered it to the fabric banner. And I think it came out super cute, it's simple. And then I just took the Dollar Tree glitter bows that you can get at Dollar Tree um, and just put them on the ends of the banner. And that is the simple setup. Um, so yeah, that is that. Um, I did have several uh, people asking me if they could buy stuff from me. And so what I'm wanting to do is I would like to sell my items, but what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna have to break it up and put them in like priority mail shipping boxes um, I haven't quite figured it out just yet, but I would like to do that this week. Um, if you can leave me a comment letting me know maybe some ideas on how I should group um, my items together if you're interested in purchasing anything that I made. Um, I would like to get it out because I know Christmas is coming and these are all items that um, are Christmas related. They're, you know, gifts for teachers or family. Um, or coworkers, that kind of thing. So um, just let me know and I will try to figure out how I'm gonna group everything together. 
and then it will just be one price plus the cost of shipping. Um, so just let me know in your comment section. I would really appreciate that. Um, I want to continue um, to say thank you to all of my subscribers for supporting my channel. Um, I really enjoyed um, creating all these things and um, it was a lot of fun and there's always next year um, I will have another opportunity to do this again so um, I might do it I haven't even decided yet but um, that is that and then I also want to um, request if it's in your heart um, my PO box address my mailing address is in the description box below if you would like to send my daughter a handmade get well card um, I would really appreciate that um, if it's in your heart to do so. These cards, if you do decide to send them, I won't be sharing them on my channel, but I will be giving them to my daughter when she is in a state of mind to be able to actually read them and um, appreciate them. Um, I, that would mean a whole lot to me um, for your support in that way. Um, and I would just like to end on that note. Um, yeah, so thank you again for watching this video and um, taking the time to uh, listen to me ramble. Um, have a great day, hope you are having happy holidays and that's it. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye for now.